Okay, now here you'll see a loco coming off a track. There you go. Right, the first thing you do is you get another loco, the same type if you've got one, and you see if it does the same thing. Because the first thing you want to ascertain is is it loco or is it track? Put this not on the track right to begin with, which doesn't help anybody. So you need to ascertain is it loco or is it track? And there goes another one. Exactly the same loco, it's come off the track. So the next thing you need to ascertain is does it do the same thing when the point is straight? So you run the loco and you can see it doesn't. But when you see it run, it looks like there's a twist in the point. If I run it slowly, you might not be able to see it with the camera and it takes a keen eye, but you can see the point doesn't look quite right. Okay, the next thing you do is check to see if the point's level and I'll show you how you do that. Okay, you get a miniature spirit level. That's level. Now I don't know if you can see on this, but it's not level. So what's happening is the body of the locomotive is twisting as it goes around the bend. And if we move the camera around a tad, okay now we've put the camera on the bend and it, the bubble is just about where it should be. So we've got a twisted point. Now as I've said, the best thing to do is lay your track on cork and use PVA glue all the time. So what you do is you put some hot water on the point to soften it all up. Simple job. And you let it just soak in. Because what you need to do is you need to put a couple of washers underneath the point and if you try and do it under the ballast you've got let me just double check where it's not right here so you put it under the ballast you've got can I have the pin suppliers please so what you do is it's difficult to do this and you not see it on the camera but I can see there it really is not in a good place so you gently pull up the track it's not soft enough yet I'm going to cut the camera and put some more water on it so what you do is you've got your spirit level and god that's miles out and you just pull the point a little bit I can lift it because the thing is because it's been there we go it's moving now that's it and you put a one millimeter washer under the point and you should find it just lifts it you can hide it under there then you check with the spirit level and you see what it's like moving along it may only need one washer We'll give this a go now. And there you go. And it's that simple, you don't panic about it, you need to check that your track is level. And it was only a little bit out and you can see, look at the difference. And you saw, you watched two locos come off, and look at it now. One little washer, hot water, and that's why I say use UPVA, don't use Bostic or anything else, and you can see. And what will happen is the UPVA will dry, it will dry it in place, and you could see. How long did that take me? Two minutes. How much more testing do you want me to do? Let's fly it round, flat out, real tester. There you go. Now I'm going to show you the spirit level. Now I hope you can see spirit level 
he's dead level and for a point to work now the thing was I could run a deltic over it and it wouldn't be affected by it so when you're testing something it's got to be the locomotive of the same type because everything else I haven't run these 73's for a while and everything else was fine but different things affect different locomotives and you can see that's now level and if I pull this back a bit it's not the prettiest but you'll see I can bring this down here now you've seen it go one way and because the points level I know that it's going to work the other ah, it's even better to be honest because the points level you can see that's nice and smooth and it does make a difference and we bring it the other way and you can see thank you for watching